audience, welcome to another episode of Have You Seen It? I'm Charles, and I am with my homie, 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 <laughs> Denise. How you doing, girl? I'm doing well. How are you? I am wonderfully excellent. Hashtag. So, Denise, start us off on. All right. The movie I am recommending this week is called The Highway Men. It came out in 2019, and it stars Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson and Kathy Bates. Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner play two retired lawmen, in parentheses, Texas Rangers, who made history because they brought down the notorious Bonnie and Clyde. This is a true story, so you know I like a true story. I wanna know the truth! <laughs> <laughs> and this movie is good. <laughs> it's a good movie because it starts out with Bonnie and Clyde orchestrating a prison break, okay? And some of their cronies break out of prison and they head for the hills, they run through the woods while they run to a huge field where unbeknownst to the police officers who are chasing them, Bonnie and Clyde are there waiting to shoot them down and kill them so that their cronies can join the gang and they can go on about their business of robbing and killing people. So fast forward, Kathy Bates has said, not on my watch. I'm tired of this. This is, I'm running this jail. I'm running this county, this city, and we're not going to have it. I need the FBI to, to, to really, you know, dig in and find Bonnie and Clyde. Well, Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner, you know, find out about what's going on. And they have been convinced that, hey, you think you want to come out of retirement and tackle this? And they say, yeah, we can. And guess what? We can do it better than the FBI. Why? Because we're not going to rely on fancy technology of the 1930s. <laughs> we, <laughs> we're yeah. going to rely on roadmaps and our instincts, <laughs> our gut instincts, because we know Bonnie and Clyde. We know how they work. We know how they think. We know how they travel. We can do this. And long story short, they get the job done. And if you have seen the movie Bonnie and Clyde, the ending is where it clicked for me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. So that's how it happened. I had no idea. So Bonnie and Clyde, for people who did not know, when they died, they had such a following, pretty much like someone else we know in <laughs> the world today. I mean, a following of people who are just goo goo gaga over Bonnie and Clyde stealing from banks and giving the money to, you know, poor commoners, just poor people and everyday people. And they thought that was the greatest thing since sliced bread. So at Bonnie's funeral, 20,000 people came to her funeral, 15,000 came to Clyde's funeral. Really? <laughs> so that, that is, is my really recommendation easy. highway men starts off a little slow but once things get moving you're in it because you're like wow i really want to see how they did this <laughs> my recommendation for this week is quickly down under starring okay. tom Selleck, Mar sangui como and alan rickman elliot marston played by alan rickman is a wealthy English rancher owner in Australia. And he put out an advertisement worldwide looking for a sharpshooter to help him with a difficult problem that he had there in Australia. Matthew Quigley, played by Tom Selleck, applied for the position by sending the advertisement with his name on it and 900 yards. So it had M. Quigley, 900 yards, written on it. Marston was totally intrigued by this. Some guy can shoot over 900 yards, right? I got to see this. And so he invited Quigley from America uh, to come to Australia. So at the time, at the time period of this uh, story, it was when the British Empire 
was in control of Australia. Once arriving at Marston Farm, him and Marston end up having dinner and quickly uh, asked him, he said, your ad said that you need someone to kill dingoes and those are Australian wild dogs. He said, but you got enough people here. They, they can do that. You've got enough people to do that particular job, right? He said, so why am I really here? And Morrison advised him that the true reason that he needed quickly was to eradicate one of the most elusive uh, uh, things that were plaguing the British Empire and himself, right? It was the Aborigines. Quigley turned down Marston by throwing him out his house. Okay. <laughs> Quigley. How are you just gonna come to, in my house and you're gonna come in somebody's house and then you're gonna throw him out, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but Quigley, unfortunately, he was knocked out by the manservant and thrown out into the yard, and then <laughs> Marston men beat him all up. They tied him up, him and uh, a woman that he helped out when he first got off the boat uh, in Australia uh, called Crazy Cora. That's played by uh, Laura uh, San uh, Grimo. Quigley and her, they escaped certain death. And so Quigley and her were trying to get back to America, right? So Because this is not the place he want to be, and he definitely wasn't doing that job. But why? But in doing so, he became a legend in defending the Abor Aborigines, right? Trying to get back home. Quickly down under, this is one of Tom Selleck's, one of his, I think one of his best movies. Uh, and this was right here is a absolute gem because it really uh, explained that racism just doesn't happen in America. So who is your nailed it for this week? <laughs> My nailed it is, Joe Pesci from the movie My Cousin Benny. Where do I start? Uh, <laughs> he was absolutely hilarious as a wannabe lawyer in this movie who was called by his nephew, I'm sorry, his cousin, to defend him because he had been accused of a robbery. And so Joe Pesci decides, yeah, I can help you out. I'm a lawyer, kind of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so so um, he was really, really funny trying to pull off being a lawyer in this small southern town. And he literally got away with it by the skin of his teeth because five minutes more in that county and he would have been arrested um, for falsely portraying a lawyer, which he was not, not hardly, but he did a good job pretending. Joe Pesci, my cousin Vinny. My nailed it for this week is Tom Hardy as journalist Eddie Brock in the movie Venom. This was a standalone movie that's a Marvel, is a Marvel character, right, really, and he's a Marvel character in the Spider-Man universe. It was a outstanding movie, right? The movie was dark, but funny as heck. And Tom Hardy performance in this movie was brilliant, right? The critics slammed this movie, but this movie made so much money because Tom Hardy was so outstanding in the movie. So my nailed it this week is Tom Hardy as journalist Eddie Brock in Venom. You can go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that like button, and we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it, with Charles and Denise, and there we will be. Audience, thank you once again for joining myself, Charles, and my homegirl, Denise, <laughs> for have you seen it, we're out. <laughs>